Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be implementing the rest of our enemies. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. In the previous episode, we just set up our enemy spawner. I've already gone ahead and I've added the extra waves in here. You can see we have the enemy red, enemy blue, we also have an enemy green, and then one more of the red, and then I would have the boss come in. Now what we're going to do is clean up our enemies and start making them shoot and giving them patterns. Let's start off with the object enemy red. So if we open up the step event, you can see that we're just inheriting the event. Let's actually go down to the object enemy, which is our parent, and let's take the Y position out of the step event and put it inside the red enemy. We're doing this because the other enemies may have a different way of moving. Now that our red enemy is cleaned up, let's actually go back down to the parent and inside the step event, we're gonna add an if statement. We're gonna say if the Y position is bigger than the room height times our camera's input 64, which basically just puts it off the screen, then we're gonna destroy the enemy. Normally you wouldn't have to use a global camera zoom here, but this is just the way the project is set up. Now let's switch back to our spawner and now let's load up one of the other enemies. Let's pick on the enemy green. First, let's open this create event. Let's give the enemy green only one hit point instead of two. And then I do want the enemy green to have the same moving. So we'll come into the step event and we'll add the Y position to four pixels each time. So that means that the last enemy we need is gonna be our blue enemy. We'll open up both the create event and the step event. We'll switch back to the create event and in here, we need to add some variables. We're gonna be adding a timer, frequency, and magnitude because we're gonna be moving our enemy back and forth. Because of this, we also need to store the original X position so we can move it relative to that position. Now in the step event for a timer, let's ensure that we add one tick every step. And for this one, again, we'll just have the Y position move down four each time. And now for the X position, we want to take the original position and add the sin value of timer times frequency. So this will be a one or negative one in between. And then we're going to multiply that by magnitude. So basically we are taking the timer variable, changing it from negative one to one over time. And we are going to move it 128 pixels to the left or right. Now we should be able to play our game and we should see the three different enemies come up. Now before we end this video, let's go back to the object enemy, which is our parent. We're going to implement some shooting. So in the create event, we're going to use a new structure to hold some information. In this structure, we can enable whether or not the enemy is able to shoot. We also have a can shoot variable, a timer, and then the timer max. Using these four variables, we're able to determine whether or not a ship is able to shoot. And because we want to do this for all ships, let's make sure we're still in the object enemy and switch over to the step event. I'm going to add this near the top instead of underneath our if statement. I'm going to make sure that we are enabled to shoot. And if we are enabled, let's make sure we take one away from our timer. Now we need to test that timer to see if the timer is less or equal to zero. If it is, then let's enable our shooting variable can shoot. Now let's test that can shoot variable. And if that can shoot variable equals true, then let's create an instance of the object enemy at the XY position of the enemy itself. We'll turn the can shoot variable to false and reset our timer to the maximum. While we are here, let's also play an audio sound using the laser sound. And now saving this will enable all of our enemies to shoot at random. So let's run our game again and let it run through. Now that we have the object spawning on the screen, let's actually go and edit the object laser itself. In the create event, let's do two simple things. What we're going to do is add a speed of 12 and then point the direction down, which is 270. These are built-in variables, so we don't need any other code. Now let's run our game again and let's see if those lasers are gonna work. So you can see that the lasers are indeed working, so we can close this. The only thing I would actually do is in the step event here, we'll do a new step event. And at the bottom, we want to take the code that we had in our enemy and just paste it here just to clean up the instances if they go outside of the room. We'll stop here and we'll leave the collision for the next video. Thank you for watching the video. A special shout out to my patron supporters in no particular order. Game Maker Community, Jerrica, Victor, Robert, Mary, David, Edward, Ashby, and Paul. If you like what you see on my channel, why not leave a like or even subscribe? If you're looking for more content, check out my Patreon site found in the description below. Thank you.